All right, Judy. I, I wanted to get through to you. Okay. Don't you dare say that ever again. But I make you feel like I wish you were dead. It's not a funny game. You've had some experiences. Yes, you've mentioned a little bit about it, but we haven't spoken as yet about all that. I think, for what it's worth, okay, you're trying to get your parents back together. That would make you a happy girl, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm just guessing there. I may be wrong. But if you've lived with your father now, you're living with your mother, you love your father, you must want to love your mother. And that's where your sorrow is, isn't it? That's why I said something earlier, but you didn't seem to mind too much. I said, you know, like mother, like daughter, which is quite a, a hard thing to say, but these things have to be said. I've written to you. You haven't said? Have you got my letters yet? Yeah. There's another one. It's a nice one. This morning's one is a nice one. Sweet. See, I'm hopeless, right? It is of a rabbit hut and you a big fat rabbit hiding away. But on the back it is a picture of me saying, Oh, please, go now! See? And I've just about managed to entice you out. There's all the time in the world, right? God will give me strength, okay? You've no idea how much this means to me. The idea, the practical idea, because you exist. Please tell me your birthday, by the way, all right? I'm afraid I have managed to lose the message. I know you were born in 1985, but I need to know... You can't write to me. I don't have an address. You know this. You can always contact me through this computer or if mine fails, I'll always get to a library at some point okay, and get onto the internet. I can still do that for free, generally. So don't worry. If you don't hear from me for some reason, I'm fine. Okay. This I've always known. Wherever I am, flying, whatever, transport, planes, boats, ships, walking, climbing mountains, anything, crossing a road, Nothing will happen to me. I know this. God has shown me. I am here for his purpose. Okay? I'm absolutely sure about this. I don't know fully what it is. It is revealed day by day. As you know, I love St. Francis of Assisi. I wish this blasted football was on. But it's a public place and you can't touch it. Okay, St. Francis had this vision, okay, of a huge cross encircling the world, and God said to him, go and rebuild my church. He had a vision, he could see Christ. So being just the way he was, such a simple, beautiful, wonderful spirit, off he went and he started rebuilding something called the Portiuncula. It's easy, it's just a small chapel that had fallen down, the actual physical stones. Right. But in fact, what God meant, which of course became more apparent to him as time went by, was his church, I, the people, the hearts of his people in this whole world. And then the brothers went out, the Franciscan. Many do exactly that. Now, I don't know yet. This repent, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Yes, I'm certainly here to say that. And to say it with strength and repeatedness. Because people don't take it in, you know. They're not interested. They're too blinded by material things. So, yes, I'm definitely here to say that. But I'm not sure if that's it. In fact, rather, I am quite sure that there is just a bit more. Which I will find in God's time day by day. Dearest one, I'll post it now. You should have them in 10 or 15 minutes. Wonderful, isn't it? All right?